Hi, lovely to have you here. Welcome to the Electro Revolution channel. My name is Michael and I'm a car and tech enthusiast. In this episode, which is episode two of the BYD ATO3 OTA update version 1.10.1, what we're going to firstly do is have a pre-upgrade discussion. We're then going to look at the new features and the feature optimizations included in this OTA update. We're then going to perform the update from beginning all the way to the end. Now there are bits in there that I have fast forwarded just for our convenience. And then we're going to review the terms and conditions. We're going to review the user agreement. And then we're going to look at, after all of that, look at the bottom bar. Just give a basic overview of the bottom bar that's included in this update. And lastly, we're going to do the start of the voice language upgrade. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Okay, so what we have here is the BYD Addo 3. Now I bought this vehicle in October 2023. I have had a couple of updates to the uh, OTA revision since then, but that happened primarily in the first few months of the vehicle ownership. It's been well over a year now since we've actually had an OTA update for this uh, particular vehicle. So I'm quite pleased to see this update now uh, be released for the Addo 3. Now, if you remember the BYD seal that I have, uh, that was performed in May. So uh, with this Addo 3, now we're in uh, at the end of June. So end of financial year for most companies. But anyway, we're at the end of June. So what I'll do now is I'll firstly connect to the wireless. Oh, I'm already connected. See right here. And this upgrade is estimated to take 23 minutes. You can click here to view the upgrade instructions. So basically the remaining power needs to be greater than 20%. Now, thankfully I'm 26. So I typically have, you know, 60, 70, 80% when performing this, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. So it says here the vehicle version can be upgraded to version 1.10.1 for free. Isn't that great? Free upgrades. Now it says here the new features, they include electronic defrost switch shortcut. So it'll be interesting to see what that means electric defrost i would assume that's um the heating of the rear uh the rear glass password to drive function to avoid theft now that's a great feature because that's also included in the byd seal update and that means that someone entering the car if there's a pin set or a password set they still can't drive the vehicle and what does it say here for number three continuous dialogue and wake up free command only support English and Chinese on BYD Assistant. Continuous dialogue and wake up free command. Interesting, I'm not sure exactly what that means. The EV trip planner function on navigation. Now, this is a fantastic feature. We did do the review, if you remember, on the BYD seal with the trip planner. You know, remember we did have one small problem, but we were able to fix that through uh, determining the settings to remove the Tesla uh, the Tesla provider as a Tesla EV uh, charging. Add new apps in the BYD store. Now I would expect that would be the similar thing to what the BYD seal had. Adjustable alert sound intensity. So low, high and mid, which is the default. Now the feature optimization. Optimize user experience for CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, this will be interesting to see what that actually involves because there are a couple of things with Android Auto and, and Apple CarPlay which can be improved. So it'll be interesting to see what they've actually done with that. Optimize forward collision warning and seatbelt alarm volume. Number three, optimize intelligent voice recognition accuracy and multi-accent compatibility, internet required. That's fine. Optimize the BYD intelligent cockpit system with improvements to the visual interface and interactive operations. Now, I would hope what this means is the bottom bar 
is also modified. You know, one of the best features actually is when you unlock the vehicle, the vehicle turning on. Now you remember when I did this with the BYD seal, I was actually surprised how much I liked the feature. I hope that's on this model. During the upgrade process, the vehicle will not be able to drive. Please confirm whether to continue the upgrade. Upgrade will start soon. Now it has gone completely black, but that's fine. Okay, system updating. So I'll go turn on my garage lights while this, while this occurs to bring some light in here. Okay, so now it looks like we've finished that part. Okay, now I do hear some funny noises happening in the car. Clicks and clangs and things like that.
Okay, now that is fantastic. Upgraded successfully, your vehicle has been upgraded to the latest version. And now the vehicle's turned off. My guess is we turn it back on. Turning it back on. Your vehicle has been upgraded. And of course we saw that before. And as we saw in the previous BYD SEAL OTA update, this is all that section there. It's most probably exactly the same as what we've already gone through. How we use your personal data. Isn't that always good to know that they're grabbing your personal data? And the third party services they use, of course, we know things like Spotify and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We know about all that. Now you can, of course, pause this video to read this information, which is why I'm going essentially page by page. Agree. Oh boy, and now the user agreement. Australia, New Zealand, Auto Asia at byd.com. I wonder if that's changed. Because what we know recently is um, EV Direct from the 1st of July, which is tomorrow, uh, they lose the exclusivity in Australia for distribution of the BYD vehicles. They've done a great job as far as I know. But of course we, um, we may have something better or maybe something worse when BYD takes over in Australia. I suspect it would be better service. And why I say that is because there's no middleman. So we may get better pricing and we may get better services. And what I do know is BYD have announced um, far more service centres across Australia than what EV Direct had. Almost reaching the end. Agree. Okay, now already I see immediately this bottom menu, and this is a fantastic feature upgrade. This is really, really good. That turns on the heating. That's like, that's I guess the shortcut that they were talking about turning on and off. Voice package updates are available. Well, firstly, let's try and turn off the aircon. I don't need it on. Uh, 
Hey, we'll update. Not connected to Wi-Fi. Okay. Let's go back in and let's make sure. Yes, we're definitely not connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, now we're connected to Wi-Fi. Please wait. So that was the end of episode two. Now I do hope you enjoyed it. We did go through some of the stuff which I guess is a little bit dry for some people. Now it's important that we do show the process. I did fast forward items that uh, may have been more dry than others, but it's important that we do go through this entire procedure. Why? Is because when you go through this or a friend of yours goes through this, they know exactly what to expect when they perform this update. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this video with someone who would be interested, or just leave us a comment. It really all helps. I do hope to see you again on the next episode, which is episode three. Until then, bye for now.